Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another case of 2021 Gold Rush Hall of Fame autographed jerseys. Um, a multi-sport break, six boxes, random player break number three. We only sold 20 spots everyone, and everyone gets six players from that big list below right here. It's a pretty good checklist as the title suggests. Yes, all, uh, all Hall of Famers. Big thanks to this group here for making this happen. Appreciate it. There's one. What's going on here? Come on, keyboard, wake up. Oh, come on. Come on, keyboard. Wake up. There's the original list right there. Thank you again. Apologies to the, for the keyboard. There's one. There's two, three, four, five, and six. So you'll see Brian Cross, Last Spot Mojo, star one, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. There's all the players right here. So there should be 120 on each list. Let's roll it, randomize each list, six and a three, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. We got Nick all the way down to Nick. Six and a three, nine times for the players. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and once more, right? Yeah, ninth and final time. After nine, we got Wade Boggs down to Sweet Lou Brock. Now I'm gonna show you the list just as is, and then I will um, alphabetize by your first names. All right, so there's the first part of the list right here. All right, now we're gonna sort by your first names by column A. So Brian Croft, there, there's your group of teams right there. Jonathan, there's your group of teams, or teams, players right here. Got a lot of spots. All right, there you go. Nick Stover, got a lot of players too. There's your group of players here. A little bit more right there. Patrick. Steve Wright, from there to there, and William. There you go. So I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we will have the break itself. So stick around. We will be right back. All right. Welcome back, folks. No deals were done, so the list you saw on the previous screen remains the same. Here's the case right here. Gold Rush Hall of Fame. I'm going to leave it on my back table right over here. We'll see what's inside. All right, jersey number one. A lot of great opportunities here. Most of them will probably be custom jerseys. Occasionally, we'll see a uh, an authentic jersey with the official, an officially licensed jersey. All right, put your thinking caps on. We can play some quick rounds of America's favorite game, Who Am I? Or I give you the clues, you guess the players for bragging rights. They're all Hall of Famers like this person here. We've had this player before in the previous break, actually. I am a Hall of Fame, 1985, goaltender, Canadian, 6'11", 190. Uh, I was the first to decorate my goaltender mask with stitch markings where a puck had struck, leading to the com contemporary traditions of goaltenders decorating their masks with distinctive visual stylings. 
think he's uh, the jersey here is Boston Bruins edition. Had a bit of a coaching career, apparently. Did some TV color commentator for the Hartford Whalers. Yeah, he, play, he played a lot of years. He was active from, I guess, professionally from maybe the early 60s through, through 1979, 1980. And I think he was, was he a Stanley Cup champion? Yeah, he was a, he was a Stanley Cup champion in the, in the 1971-72 season with the Boston Bruins. Yeah, we had him earlier, too. Yep, there you go, Oliver. And that'll go to Jonathan Hollywood with the Jerry Cheevers. Auto. Right there. It's a custom jersey. There's his Hall of Fame inscription. There's his autograph. And the familiar Boston Bruins colors. Break number three. Next up. Right, let's see who we have here. All right, who am I? Um, Oliver can't play. Who am I? I'm a Hall of Fame safety slash cornerback from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Six foot, 205 pounds, drafted in the late 80s out of Purdue. Played for one, two, three, four teams my entire career. Um was a coaching intern with the Bengals now, a cornerbacks coach with the Raiders, a coaching intern in 2014, assistant D-backs coach, defensive backs coach from 15 to 16 and uh, for the Raiders and was a cornerbacks coach in 2017. I don't know what he's doing now. Maybe he's doing some other coaching somewhere else. Super Bowl champion, NFL defensive player of the year, six-time six first-team All-Pro, 11-time Pro Bowl uh, selectee, AFC player of the year, two-time NFL interceptions leader, 1,049 tackles, 71 interceptions, 17 interceptions as a, as a safety cornerback. That's a lot of tackles. That's a lot of interceptions. Oliver, I said you can't play. Come on. <laughs> 1990s all-decade team, NFL 100th anniversary all-time team, 75th anniversary all-time team, the th two-time first team all-American, three-time first team all-big 10. This guy, is, this guy was a beast. Well, anyway, Oliver got it. It's Rod Woodson. He's a Steelers fan. I knew he'd get it right away. All right, there's the Beckett card. There's the Beckett sticker. And there's the autograph right there. No, Jonathan was just copying you. No, Oliver got it, and Oliver knew it right away. Very cool. Rod Woodson. It was pretty incredible. Yeah, he spent a moment with the Raiders and stuff too. It was, it was pretty cool. I'm not sure what he's what he's doing now. I guess he was let go after Gruden was hired, and doesn't really say what he's doing coaching wise after that. But hopefully he'll get hopefully he'll get back into it. Yeah, it's a pretty cool jersey. I agree. That's Brian Croft. Last spot mojo strikes again. Seventy percent of the time, last spot mojo hits a hundred percent of the time. All 
All right, and I think all of these have been custom jerseys so far. This definitely looks like a custom jersey. Yeah, it was. Not officially licensed. Not all of them are going to be officially licensed. But... All right, next. Custom jersey, or is this? This looks nice. All right, who am I? This should be uh, this should be pretty easy too. I mean, they're Hall of Famers. These should be pretty familiar to a lot of people. Um, baseball, first first uh, baseball one that I think I've seen in the last couple of cases. Currently 53 years old, a righty. Lifetime 301 batting average, 2,468 hits, uh, 521 home runs, 1,700 runs, but just a little over 1,700 runs batted in. Played for one, two, three, four teams my entire career. Five-time All-Star, two-time AL MVP, four-time Silver Slugger Award winner, an AL batting champion. My number retired. And a Hall of Famer in 2014, first ballot with 83.7% of the vote. Who am I? 521 home runs. And um, not A-Rod, Brian and Chad, but there you go. Cocan Mike's got it. Frank Thomas, the big hurt. Trust me, she'll like it too. There's the Beckett card, the Beckett sticker. And there's the autograph. Yep, the big hurt. Is this a officially licensed jersey? It's buttoned down, but no, I don't think it's officially licensed. It doesn't have like a, a collar tag on the back of it, but still pretty nice. Gilo saying Ted Williams, but Ted Williams is also not 53 years old. <laughs> and Ted Williams is also not a, uh, not a righty. All right, who is Frank Thomas? Jonathan Arnaldi, Frank Thomas, the big hurt. All right, next. Good luck. Good luck. What do we have here? Who do we have here? All right, not time to guess yet, Hollywood. Play by the rules. Um, who am I? 78 year, currently 78 year old, former linebacker, Hall of Fame linebacker. They're all Hall of Famers. Um, was picked in the NFL and AFL draft. Played for one team my entire career. Five time first team All Pro, eight time Pro Bowler, two time Defensive Player of the Year. Part of the NFL 1960s and 70s All Decade team. Part of the 75th anniversary and 100th anniversary All Time team. My number retired by the one team I played for my entire life. Played 119 games, 22 interceptions, 27 fumble recoveries. Pro Football Hall of Fame, College Football Hall of Fame. Who am I? I played between 1965 and 1973. Born in Chicago, went to Illinois. 
He's pretty good. Nice. Chris Gill. There you go, Chris. Dick Buckus. Number 51 himself. Brian Vornberg was on the right track with the Bears. But Chris Gill got it. There's his autograph. Looks like he looks like William Butkus he's going with right there. Maybe? Is it William? Is it Dick? What's his first? Oh, Richard. First name. Doesn't look like looks like a W, doesn't it? So there's Butkus right there for sure. Hall of Fame 1979. Class of 79. There's the JSA sticker and the card. This stick right here. Butkus, that is. This also looks like a custom jersey. Yeah, you can see the just the generic size tag on the back right there. Better for framing anyway. And that's uh, Jonathan. There you go, Jonathan. Another one for you. Good luck. <laughs> he sure is Hollywood. I'll do what gave it away? All those clues from earlier? All right, next. All right, who am I? Pull up his Wikipedia. According to Wikipedia, currently 49 years old, 7'1", 325, former basketball player. This is going to be pretty obvious. A center out of LSU, drafted in the early 90s, four-time NBA champion, three-time NBA Finals MVP, an NBA Most Valuable Player, 15-time All-Star, three-time yeah, three NBA All-Star Game MVP. Everyone should know this. Rookie of the Year, All-Rookies, First Team, Two-Time NBA Scoring Champion, my number 34, retired by the Lakers, 32, retired by the Heat, AP Player of the Year, NCAA Blocks Leader, Two-Time SEC Player of the Year, uh, 28, over 28,000 points, over 13,000 rebounds, over 2,000 blocks, Gold Medal Winner in 94 and 96, FIBA World Cup and the Olympic Games, so on and so forth. This guy is a legend. Oliver's got it. Brian, Mac, Chad, Gilo, Shaq. Autograph and Beckett sticker right there. Movie star, legend, custom jersey, proprietor, <laughs> commercial maker. Movie star, rapper extraordinaire, analyst, analyst on TNT. What else, Chad? Yeah, I got rapper. I mean, just all around, all around amazing personality. A cop? Yeah, he's a sheriff. Jonathan was Shaq. Sheriff? Is he on the Papa John's like board of directors? Businessman? Entrepreneur? Insurance salesman? Pizza salesman? I think he owns franchise Papa John's franchises too. Husband? Friend? Father? That's right, an icy hop rep? What I mean. Did he did he did commercials for Cadillac? I think, or Bu was it Buick, Cadillac or Buick? Something. Yeah, owner. He bought in. I think he bought. He definitely bought in. All right, who are you? Okay.
Right? He did some wrestling, Mac? Absolutely. It's a little pro wrestling. It's pretty amazing. All right. Who am I? Um, yeah, I don't think he can fit in a Buick. I think he did say that, that the commercial is kind of funny because he couldn't fit into it. Uh, okay, who am I? Currently 62 years old. Currently 62 years old. Former football player. Linebacker. 6'3", 237, probably playing days, linebacker. Out of uh, Lafayette High School in Williamsburg, Virginia, went to college in North Carolina. Drafted in the, uh, drafted in the early 80s. Round one, pick two. Played for one team my entire career. Two-time Super Bowl champion. NFL Most Valuable Player, three-time NFL Defensive Player of the Year, NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year, eight-time First Team All-Pro, an NFL Sacks Leader in the mid-'80s, part of the NFL 1980s All-Decade Team, 75th Anniversary All-Time Team, NFL 100th Anniversary All-Time Team. A career 1,089 tackles, 142 sacks, 56 forced fumbles, which is an important number, Nine interceptions, Pro Football Hall of Famer, obviously, part of the 100 Sacks Club. The 56 will give it away. Yep, Oliver's got it. It's Lawrence Taylor. The original LT. There, there's his autograph there. There's the Beckett sticker and the Beckett card. I think Jonathan got that one too. Nice, Jonathan. There's the Taylor on the back. And is this a officially licensed jersey? It's not. It's a custom jersey, but it's got some good weight to it. The number looks really nice. So great stuff. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Another jersey break in the books. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.